I'd like to introduce the Seating Matters Sydney Go Flat Chair. The Sydney has been designed to enable safe and efficient transfer of critical patients from lying in bed to a fully seated, clinically optimised position, offering care professionals new options in early mobilisation. This is a product demonstration on the features and benefits of the Sydney chair and how to use the product. The main features of the chair are enabled using the handset. So we have a tilt and space function. And this allows us to tilt the patient to 17 degrees of tilt and space. We also have the leg rest elevation on the handset and we have a separate back angle recline. The fourth main feature on the chair is the height adjustment. This allows us to get to the chair to a, a sufficient height for patient care or to enable us to align it with the bed. The main function of the chair to go into a flat position can be done with one touch of the button allowing us to quickly tilt the chair, open the back, lift the legs, and get the chair into a safe, flat position. The Sydney has a built-in safety feature, so when it goes to its go-flat position, it's got a support bar that connects with the ground. This allows us to safely give patient care without any risk of tipping. To put the chair into a fully seated position again, we can reverse that by using one standard button again. So to bring the chair into a seated position, we can just press one button and that will bring all the features back to have the chair in a seated position. Something to be aware of is the safety settings in the handset. Sometimes when you press the button, for example, to bring the leg rest in, the chair will move into a safe position before it allows that to happen. So there may be a slight delay in the leg rest moving. That is just a safety feature built into the Sydney chair. The Sydney has two options for the armrest positions. So we can fix the arm in an upright position which creates a fall arrest safety position. So when we go to tilt the chair, this stays in place. We also then have a synchronized option. So we can put it in the other setting, which allows the arm to move with the chair as we go to the go flat position. The importance of the synchronized arm position is highlighted when the chair is close to the bed, because when we tilt the chair and move it into a go flat position. It allows the arm to automatically move with the chair to create that flat position for the transfer while the other arm stays in the safe position so the patient doesn't move too far over during the transfer. The arm is also designed in a way to fill any space between the bed and the chair. This was designed by caregivers who had previously struggled with manual operating arms. So the automation here helps to reduce caregiver struggle. We also have a line for the hip angle. So when we're moving the patient, we know how to align them into the correct seated position. So once the patient is transferred into the chair, we can then bring the chair into a seated position, which allows the arm to automatically raise up and give support to the patient before we move the chair away from the bed, keeping them in a supported and safe position. We would then focus on the four principles of clinical therapeutic seating. So the first one would be loading the body. So we have our foot plate where we can load the feet safely to help to take some of the weight of the patient. We would also like to incorporate some tilt and space to help with pressure redistribution and seat and balance with the patient. And we could also add in lateral supports to provide some postural support. So for a patient that 
is leaning to the side or needs support in order to sit correctly, we can add in the lateral supports to help keep that nice midline position. The head pillow will also help with support. Pressure care management was at the heart of the design of the Sydney mattress. The mattress that we use throughout the, the chair is a castellated foam, which allows for a lot of movement, so helps to reduce shear and friction when doing our sideways transfer. And when going from a go flat position to a seated position, it stops any friction here. We have also built in movement on the chair. So this automatically moves rather than cause friction to the patient. And there's a similar design in the armrests here as well. The cover is a Dartex material, so it is multi-stretch and breathable and reduces sweating, reduces shear, and is designed for infection control. Good infection control principles have been designed into the Sydney chair. We would recommend similar procedure that you use for your bed and for your surface when cleaning the Sydney. The mattress and all your seams have been ultrasonically welded to help reduce any infection control problems. And there's an infection control base hiding any moving parts, and making the chair really easy to clean. The emotional benefits of getting a patient out of bed and into other parts of the hospital have been thought about in the design of this Sydney Go Flat chair. The chair is designed to be mobile. We've got ergonomically designed handles on the side and on the back to be able to move the chair even with some patients in the chair. We've got hospital grade twin casters and if the patient does require critical features like an oxygen tank or an IV pole, they can be transferred from the bed and attached to the chair to allow that mobility to other parts of the facility. Although the Sydney Go Flat Chair has been designed for the lateral transfer directly from bed, it is also compatible with your lifts. So we can bring the lift in from the front if someone was doing a stand transfer or for a full lift, we can also use this and you have full compatibility from the side also.